Hey YouTube, welcome back to Rando Gaming. So this is uh, last day on Earth Survival. We're going to show how we farm uh, wood this time. Last time we showed how we farmed ore. You can see I have three hatchets, two uh, weapons, one heavy, one light. You can run two light. Uh, bats work well. I just use the Devastator because I have plenty of them and um, it takes out a uh, fast biter in one hit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our tools. We're not, let me turn this down so you can hear me. Um, we're not going to pick up any of the loose stuff. We're going to go for all the trees that are actually standing. We'll go ahead and do that box since it's in this corner. Uh, we're going to do it the same way we do the ore. We're going to cl clear the corners and kill the zombies as we're clearing before we head into center. So when we catch a zombie like that on the outskirts, we'll go ahead and take them out. And it is a fast biter, so I'm going to use my Devastator so it does it in two shots instead of that uh, cleaver, which would have took like four or five. We'll swap back to the cleaver, take out this roamer, and then we'll back up so we can take out this one without uh, triggering the other ones. We'll just go ahead and take this box. We'll just take everything in it and then we'll work our way over to that other box. Just hit take all. I can go to the outskirts and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out this zombie so I can uh, get this grove of trees here. And it's a roamer so I'll use the cleaver. The roamers are actually pretty easy to take out. If you sneak up on them, you can take them out in one hit even with a light weapon. You don't need a uh, heavy weapon. I just bring the heavy because every once in a while uh, I come across a floater bloater here or, uh, you know, like I said, the fast biters. It'll knock them out in one hit. I'm hoping I can get this last tree without triggering any of these guys. Oh, that's another thing we will pick up is plant fiber, and I'm going to back up so I don't uh, trigger these other guys. And as far as clothing, you could just wear regular clothes if you start getting killed run off the map. The only reason I wear uh, upgraded clothing for farming is because people will try to attack you a lot. Uh, so I don't have a lot of rubber, so we'll swap out that wire because I have a lot of wire. And I think we only need one iPhone to fill that spot, or one phone. I don't know why I said iPhone. Uh, we only need one phone to fill our spot of phone, so we'll take those. Um, we'll swap these bolts out. I have plenty of bolts. So, like I said, it's all about prioritizing. I said it in the uh, when I was doing the ore. You just have to realize what you need more and drop everything else and right now I don't need leather and I don't need bolts so I never need wire I have so much wire I have a whole uh, row of wire in a chest so it says my inventory is full so we'll go back here we'll ditch these seeds and grab another tree and fill that spot if you do it this way, you should be able to farm uh, 120 logs or something like that, I believe. We'll go ahead and take one out and trigger the other one. So it takes three spots to take a uh, roamer out, three wax. And I see the other one coming at me, but I'm going to work till he gets here. Yeah, see if I'd used the spike devastator, I'd have did it in one. Uh, so I'm going to run back to this corner and make sure it's clear, and then I'm going to use a little bit of jerky here. And you can see that first hatchet's almost wore out. Go ahead and kill this guy. There's quite a bit of fiber right here that we'll grab. And I was hoping not to trigger this guy, but it's going to trigger him. Oh, it triggered all of them. But there's another box right here, so it was worth it. 
And if you need rope and cloth, uh, raid the bodies. Just click take all and take everything that we've already got and go ahead and fill those spots as much as we can. go ahead and work our way to this corner now we've got one more corner to do and you can see that tool broke we'll go ahead and split this wood so we'll be filling two spots with wood run up onto the map to where we can see the trees And that's why I don't pick up the loose stuff at first. I want to wear all my tools out and get all the standing trees before I hit auto and start picking up loose wood and plant fiber. And if I pick the plant fiber up as I'm chopping the trees, I don't have to run all over the map for it. We'll work our way back up there. We're going to uh, clear the corner and then work our way in. There we go. Now we can clear this grove, kill that zombie, and start working our way uh, to the center of the map. Go ahead and eat a piece of jerky while we're in it. I'm not sure what our health looks like. 97 now, so obviously we needed the jerky. The wolves don't do a lot of damage. It's the people that run up on you why you're collecting resources that do a lot of damage and that's why I wear upgraded clothing because usually they're naked or half naked so alright so we filled those two spots we still have one good hatchet so we'll ditch this one that's partially dead and hopefully we won't regret that hopefully we won't leave any standing trees because we still have all of center to hit Oh, I triggered him. I didn't get off to the side enough. Go ahead and finish grabbing all this stuff and then we'll uh, work our way towards center and see if there's any trees. I'm going to go ahead and get that piece of meat. Like I said, that's what we live on when we're doing this is either jerky or carrots. That's usually what we're eating. That's how we restore our health. I don't use bandages. I don't use first aid kits. Even when I do the bunkers, uh, I usually don't bring first aid kits and bandages. If I come across some in there, I'll use them. You know, as I'm clearing the bunker, if I come across some, I'll take them, of course, and I'll use them. But uh, I don't make them. I only make them for the dealer for trading with the dealer to get more weapons because that seems to be the name of the game with this is uh, weapons that triggered him see I should have let him come towards me and then it wouldn't have triggered this guy and I could have snuck up on him let's run around this way and hit these guys from the side it'll trigger one we'll go ahead and use our devastator uh, I should have went in for the fast biter. And it triggered him. It's because I walked towards him before I uh, slouched. Alright, so we need to work our way this way. Uh, so my inventory is full again. How many trees are out here? Because I don't want to leave a whole lot of standing wood. 
if it's only one, we'll ditch the hatchet. Keep getting sidetracked by deer. Yeah, I think it's only one, so we'll go ahead and ditch that hatchet. I hope I don't regret that. And we'll split the wood and then hit auto. Now he'll finish filling that wood and the plant fiber on his own, and then we'll go from there and see what we need. Uh, but I think our spots will be full because I think we're going to go ahead and take this load. Uh, I'm going to keep that water. Uh, I'm trying to fill a whole chest full of water so I can quit worrying about empty bottles when I'm out and about. I usually don't anyways, like if I'm going to Alpha Bunker, I bring a little bit of water with me. I use it and then throw the bottles away. I don't carry them because I try to carry as much of the good stuff back as I can, you know, tickets, things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the only time I use auto is to fill the spots with the loose stuff on the ground. And doing this, like I said, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, we should be able to get close to 120. But we're just going to take 100 and run with that because I like what's in my uh, spots right now. And see, you can get limestone here too. You can bring a pickaxe and get uh, quite a bit actually. So that's close enough. It looks like we've gotten all the loose wood because there's still a spot there with a hundred in it. I'm happy with that haul. We'll take one more look. I'm going to go ahead and walk back because my energy is low. You guys aren't going to have to wait. We'll end the video. <laughs> we'll end the video before we start or before we get back. You know, I'll just go ahead and start walking though. You can see the zombie hordes pretty close. I need to get there and uh, get some extra spikes made up. Man, that's the only kind of defense I have right now for the zombie horde. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got. We got an alpha bunker uh, pass. Those are, those are always good. I have three of them or four of them left. Uh, so this will add to that collection. This will fill our uh, phone spot, our broke phone spot. We still haven't found a use for them. They still haven't uh, made a use for them. At least I don't think they have. We'll go ahead and use that water because we're getting low there. And why not eat a piece of jerky? Get that back up to 100. Uh, the beer we could have left behind because I believe we have a whole spot 20 20 of those and then we have another one with like four or five in it uh, But I'm gonna go ahead and fill two spots with beer and two spots with cigarettes in my one of my chests that way if the They ever start using them through the dealer. I can trade them to the dealer. I don't drink them because then it just makes you pee uh, So I don't I don't use the beer and you can't use the cigarettes. So I'm just keeping them for trade value the same reason I keep the gold bars and the gold watches uh, just in case they ever decide to make the trader where he'll trade something really good for 20 gold bars that would be awesome you know like a rocket launcher not that there's a rocket launcher in the game but I'm just thinking off the top of my head here uh, so these is probably the most important thing because those are the parts you get least of or the rubber parts and you use quite a bit of them I uh, use quite a bit of them on not just the tables and stuff you make, but uh, like the chopper and the generator, things like that. It all uses rubber parts, so I get those. Anytime I can get those, I get them. Batteries, um, I'm trying to fill one slot with batteries. Flashlights, same thing. I'm trying to fill a spot with flashlights. Uh, so I would have ditched that wood if it would have been one flashlight. I would have probably brought that one flashlight back and ditched this 19 pieces of wood for it. So... I'm just trying to fill those spots and have at least 20 of each one. That way, if the dealer ever says, hey, I'll take 20 flashlights and 20 batteries for this, I can go and just uh, take them out of my chest and bring them to them, you know, make it nice and easy. So, hopefully that was a little bit helpful. Uh, like I said, we do it a little bit differently. Most people run naked. I make clothes. You can see I've done probably three... Uh, farming missions with the clothes that that I've made here and you can see how high they still are this is the only thing that's really highly upgraded is my face shield I use the beanie instead of the dad cap but this is all the same clothing as the dad cap uh, it 
all it takes is a little bit of rope, some leather, and some plant fiber to make this stuff. It's not anything special, no steel or nothing like that. So, uh, and it keeps me covered, you know, for if I'm attacked by another player, I can usually, I never get killed in the game whenever that happens. Not in the green areas anyway. I get killed every time in the red area, so... <laughs> You know, and I know guys that go into there butt naked, just in underwear and shoes, and they come out with uh, oak wood. They use the zombies to kill the zombies, and then if they get ambushed, they just run off the map. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's what I need to try. I, I still haven't tried it. I just now opened the alpha bunker for the first time, so um, I think I cleared part of the first floor. First floor is almost completely cleared. I had like two frenzied giants I needed to take care of. Uh, but the bunker's fixing to close. I'm going to save up some more green tickets and do it again. Because that's what I'm doing. Is I'm just trying to open those crates uh, in the very beginning of Alpha Bunker. And empty those crates for parts and everything else and take them back. And then I, I walk through and empty the uh, uh, lockers as you go. I've never found a car part yet in the our uh, motorcycle part yet in the alpha bunker and I've been uh, I've cleared most of the first floor so I'm gonna go back after it you know reactivates I'll go back and do it again and see if the parts are any different and maybe I can get some chopper parts because that's what I need is chopper parts uh, so I can quit running everywhere uh, so we're gonna be doing a video on the alpha bunker soon I don't know we just started playing you know just bear with me we'll we'll get into the game more we'll get uh more upgraded we'll get more items we'll get bigger guns and we'll be able to clear that alpha bunker eventually so that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching youtube